Hey guys, today we will be unboxing an April BoxyCharm box and I couldn't be happier. This is my paid base box. I haven't received any of the PR boxes quite yet and my premium paid box should be here today or tomorrow. So that will go up as soon as I have it. But yeah, so I'm really excited. I wanna dive in. I'm gonna give you the weight of my box as well as um, the dimensions, you guys, I generally like to know that information, the variation, I'm gonna show you everything and then we're gonna dive in and play with the products. My FedEx tracking says that this box over here weighs 0.9 pounds. So almost a pound, but not fully. The box dimensions is nine by seven by three. What's crazy is I didn't even know it was coming. It still said pending pickup. And then next thing you know, my husband knocks on the door. He was mowing the lawn. He knocks on the front door and he's like, open up. And when I opened up, he had my BoxyCharm box right in his hand. So it's one of those things where the carriers are behind on everything. I never got alerted that it was picked up from the warehouse, that it was in transit or anything like that. So when you open it up, you may or may not see, depending on your box, you may or may not see a little card talking about the makeup eraser, how to use it what to do and all that good stuff and like I told you guys in the spoiler videos guys they have a ton of different shirts let's get into my actual box what's my variation my box variation is number 11 it says it right there number 11 by the way there are spoilers I'm gonna flip this over there are spoilers for the Lux box right here that's happening in June and then these are boxy pop-up uh, spoilers which will pop up Next month, Boxy Pop-Up is in May. The first item I have over here, it is the Pore Professional Pore Primer by Benefit Cosmetics. We're gonna go ahead, dive in, and play around with that, which is why I wanted to make sure I had nothing on my face, just to be sure that if I did get a primer, you know, I could be able to use it in this video. Then we have the Hank and Henry sponges. My understanding is that this duo is exclusively launching with BoxyCharm, and I guess it was right because it does say BoxyCharm over here. Hank and Henry generally sells like the one, but here you have the regular one and then you have a smaller one. These will or should grow when you wet them, but this one would be great for the under eye area. So I'm again, I'm glad I started this video without any makeup because I wanna show you guys everything nice and clean and pretty, and this will probably get dirty with my foundation shape. I ended up getting the lavish five piece brush set. I want to check it out. My initial thought when I saw uh, that this was a spoiler was I don't think there's anything special about them other than the colors. I don't think I've ever heard of the brand lavish. The blending brush feels fine. I mean it's not like the super soft like it's not the most amazingly soft. They're not scratchy either. This one is weird though. You have an eye liner brush. I'm gonna use that today. You have the eye shading brush, which is this one over here. And I think the shape is fine. The purple one here is the tapered blending. I think the hairs kind of look a little, I, it's, it's not gonna show you, but the hairs are kind of like, do you guys see there's like a stray hair and it's not shedding. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't, hold on. Maybe a tweezer will pull it out. Yep, okay, the tweezer did. That was a stray hair that wasn't placed in the brush properly. Now the brush looks like pure perfection here. You can fill your brows with this brush and then groom them with this one. And or I like to multitask a brush like this and do, since it's angled, a wing liner with it. But I'm gonna fill my brows in today with it because I have a liner brush that came in the set. It's nice, they feel sturdy, they feel well made. It's just some of the hairs for some reason just look like they're offset a little bit, like even here, this is a pencil brush and it has a nice little dome, but then you have some strays over here. I feel bad because you're not gonna really be able to see it, I don't think, but there's some strays that are just coming out this way. Not a deal breaker, it doesn't mean the brushes are bad, it's just I, when I get brushes, I like to like pull on them a little bit and see whether I show it on camera or not. I do like to see whether they shed or not. All right, then I did get a makeup eraser. Now, I did try the one that I got in, I think I got it in Fab Fit Fun. You guys were telling me, you need to try it, you need to try it. I decided to try it, it works. I don't know that I love it. I'm gonna set this aside and probably put it in a giveaway. I don't wanna open it and unravel it. Obviously the shades, it's it's more than one shade, um, the actual thing thing. I do think this is a nice touch and I think these go for like 20 bucks. We'll check the card, but these go for about 20 bucks. So I think it's a nice touch that they're incorporating something like this and it's not like a small one, it's an 
actual full size. And then last but not least, I did get a Zoeva palette, which I am stoked for. I feel like the name of it though, no one really knows how to say it, including moi over here. So this is the Zoeva Caramel. Okay, some people are saying Melangi, Melange, I think it's just Melang. It reminds me of the Spanish, uh, the Spanish word Malanga, which is a vegetable or a fruit. Crap, I mixed that up. It's either a, like a, a fruit or a vegetable, but the point is it does remind me of that. La Malanga, so um, I don't know why, I just wanna say Melang. So we're gonna call her the Melang. But it kinda is what it is, like I don't think we're ever really gonna figure out how to actually say it. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. The shades are really pretty. You guys have been liking the more soft, like matte and soft looks. So I think I'm gonna go for a soft matte look today, although I kinda wanna smoke out the outer area a little bit. The only shade that's gonna help me do that is this one over here. We'll make it work, we'll make it happen, and it's going to be popping. So, and by the way, don't stare at the nails. I literally have just a clear on top. This one broke on me, so I just, well, it didn't break, it bent on me big time. So I just left the clear on it and I'm taking a break from nail color because I just couldn't decide if I wanted to go light again or dark. So we're just, we're just, we're just, we're just going all natural. Oh, real quickly, I totally forgot to give you guys the prices. So the Benefit Cosmetics, uh, the Professional Face Primer is $32. $32. I mean, a little is going to go a long way, but that's that's kind of small for $32 in my opinion. The Zoeva Eyeshadow Palette, which is this one over here, retails for $28. The Hank and Henry uh, Midori Beauty Sponge Bundle is $20, and I... I haven't tried it yet, but I do feel like they're priced really well for the two. The Lavish five-piece brush set is $29.99. And then the original makeup eraser is $22. This generally goes for 20 bucks, but it is what it is. So let's dive on in. I did squeeze a little bit of the um, professional. I tend to really apply this product where I get oily and or where I um, have some pores because I do, like right here. But see, I push it into my skin and I push up in this area over here. We blend it out. Whatever's left, you just blend out onto the balance of your skin. I just rolled my little makeup cart over here and I think I wanna use a drugstore foundation today um, because I do love me some drugstore stuff. You guys usually ask what my shade is on my foundations. So I'm using the L'Oreal Fresh Wear, this infallible fresh wear in 485. Now that was two pumps and I always go in with two pumps and then whatever's left on the back of my hand I use to add more coverage in certain areas. This, 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 this flat edge just makes it super awkward for me. I really like how different this is and I love the color. It is not super dense it's like nice and soft and it's really comfortable it feels really nice very comparable to many other uh, beauty sponges the shape is very different i just i don't feel like i'll ever use this flat area like the flat side so i would just use the what is it the other side it's really getting into those little corners look at that coverage with that amount that i applied like that one swatch onto my skin it covered that whole area always a good thing when you can maximize your coverage i really don't like going in for additional products so i normally will just do two pumps on the back of my hand and use a beauty spray Sponge. It feels really good though. Okay, so I'm doing one of these and I'm just gonna take whatever I did pick up and add to areas that sometimes a woman needs a little more coverage up in here Up here. I get a little red here. So I'll do that. I like that sponge like a lot The only con is I won't be using the flat side, but I really like this shape and look at this one It did get a little bigger. So oh um, the concealer that I grabbed is the one that you guys suggested that I did the Catrice Camouflage concealer and I got it in 15 honey you know what I feel like this sponge is one of it, it's one of those that is the perfect size it didn't absorb all of my concealer digging that no for real box of charm y'all need to put these on add-ons for sure but like enough so that we can all get at least another set yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna set my entire face but I am gonna set my concealer I'm using the Becca powder it doesn't give that cooling sensation anymore but I'm almost done with it so I'm really trying to just focus on this one powder 
so that I can just get rid of it. I feel bad throwing it out. This is where I try to strategize on the spot. We are going to go and apply the shade Universal Delight, which is like a mild vanilla. You're not gonna get a lot of pretty pop of color or coverage. It is such a neutral shade. So this is one of those things that you can apply on your lid just to brighten it. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just brightening the area real quick. I'm gonna take the eye shading brush and I'm gonna tap into Aftertaste which is a darker, kind of like a dusty coral. And I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. I'm gonna go back in with the blending brush and I'm gonna tap into Edible Gem. The only reason why I'm gonna use that shade again, I wanna smoke out the outer, ooh. There is so much kick up and fallout. Do you guys see that? It's kind of crazy. That's a very loose formula, be very careful. But it's the only shade that we have in this palette that I can smoke out the outer edge. So we're just gonna use her. I'm gonna grab a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that outer edge. I didn't have an extra brush specifically for this within that five piece, so I needed to tap into one of mine that I already owned. I'm gonna grab the pencil brush and I wanna go into this shade over here. It's called Finish Sensual. And it's kind of like a brown with a little bit of an orange in it. And I'm just going to kind of uh, drag that along my crease to darken it a little bit. I am gonna grab that brush that I initially used that was clean. It's still kind of clean. I am going to tap into this shade over here, it's called Alchemy. And I'm just going to drag some of that out here on the outer corner. It's just gonna add to that warmth around the eyes. I am going to dust away my bake. I wanna give this look a little bit of a life um, and kind of revive it and give it some personality. So I'm gonna dive into my Inglot 77 gel eyeliner. Where's my mirror? I have a little mirror over here and I'm gonna use one of the lavish brushes that came in the set and um, it's a brush. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna do its job. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a wing. I'm back. I went ahead and I applied mascara, lashes, and um, I took a little break to talk with my mom. Now we're gonna dive in and fill our brows in. I'm gonna use the brush that came in the five piece set and I'm gonna use the Brow Bar by Rima. I'm going to dive in to the darkest shade, tap out, and just fill my brows in. I'm gonna move forward with the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the final look. Now I'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts. My favorite, 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 favorite first impressions, like obviously this is all a first impressions product, are the sponges. I loved how it covered one whole area super quickly. It did not absorb all of my product and I went and washed it and it didn't stain. Cause a lot of sponges expensive and or affordable it really depends they tend to stain pretty quickly now granted maybe not on the first use but i wanted to have the experience of cleaning it out and see what it was like it was actually very easy to clean this baby out it worked like a like a dream like it was just so perfect my skin looks flawless i have zero complaints favorite product now i'm not saying i didn't like this palette everything else was cool you know everything else was nice it was a nice box not like this super super best box ever obviously it was a very nice box i do think this box is worth the price tag of 25 dollars i'm not saying i don't like this palette okay i'm just saying i kind of expected a little more the look came out real cute you know i was able to put it together fine but i kind of wanted more out of these colors like more vibrancy more more pigmentation, it just kind of wasn't there. They weren't buttery and there was a lot of fallout. So slightly disappointed. If I had to rate this palette from one to 10, I would probably say somewhere, maybe like a seven. 
So that is a wrap up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Make sure you do. I feature hot new items every single month. You really do not want to miss out. Also, don't forget tomorrow, Thursday, the 16th of April, premium choice is taking place. Make sure you guys are on top of it. Make sure you have my notifications on. That way you'll see when I alert you guys that it is live. And yeah, that is a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day with me and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.